and you are watching Roger Walker on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers! Hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my vinyl collection video. I'll be going through all of my records, every single vinyl that I own, which just should be a ton of fun. I did this a year ago too, around December, but I looked like an idiot back then, so... I figured I'd do it again. I also have a lot more new stuff that I've uh, like acquired over the last year, basically. But without rambling on, let's just get to the records. First up, we got Alice Cooper's Love It To Death, which I love this album to death. It's a great record. Um, like Honestly, I would say this is like the first album where Alice Cooper really has his... has like found his own sound. Like the others are kind of rip-offs of other things like Pink Floyd and stuff things that already existed basically it sounds like he's he knows a lot more of what he's doing in this album that's for sure this is killer great album too let's do this one quite a few times nothing too interesting about the inner sleeve but uh yeah great album if you haven't listened to this one yet listen to it it's great this one however I mean I love the single schools out but the album I really don't like I like this though, like the the way they used to have all these cool pressings and stuff. As you can see, it's like a desk opening basically. This one, however, is a lot better and <laughs> it's actually quite funny because this is Billion Dollar Babies, um, which it is like a, a wallet basically. However, I, I bought this basically from my local Craigslist, like the Craigli Craigslist we have in Holland. And for some fucking reason, whoever sold this to me thought, hey, while we're at it, let's send Muscle of Love as well. And it's like just the inner sleeve of Muscle of Love, not, not the cardboard uh, going on. It's like ripped open. It's like, okay, I mean, I have a free record. It's, it's good, you know, I listen to it. It's still playable. Somehow, I'm, I was just surprised that it was in there. But a Billion Dollar Babies, as you can see, it opens up as well. You got the awesome photo of the band. You can see that. Yeah, there you go. Alice Cooper went solo on Welcome to My Nightmare, which is also a great, great record um, with some classic songs. A really good ballad like Only Women Bleed. But of course, the awesome opening track, Welcome to My Nightmare. But yeah, I, I also love Years Ago and Steven, um, which are just really creepy songs. And Escape is like a perfect, I mean, perfect closing track. Am I right? Then we have Alice Cooper Goes to Hell. Also quite a good album. Um, however, personally, I always prefer this as, a, as an album. Really, uh, I mean, the only songs I could really listen to on their own are, are that "Go to Hell" and um, "I Never Cry," because those songs, you know, they're they're like they're good songs on their own. The other songs are like "You Gotta Dance," it's like a disco song, which works on the album because of like the concept and the story and all. But on their own, I would never listen to them, you know. So that's why I think this album works on its own. But when you take a song out of the album, it's like, whatever, you know? So, still a good album, though. This one, however, I don't find myself re-listening a whole lot. This is Lace and Whiskey. It's just kind of a weird album to start with. <laughs> like, what was he thinking? Look at that. Can't believe that that is Alice Cooper. It's crazy. But yeah, besides It's Hot Tonight and Lace and Whiskey, the title track. Not a lot of songs that even stand out, uh, let alone are memorable. So this one, however, great record from the inside, which is just the pressing itself, the presentation of this album. Like over here, you got the quiet room. Fuck. Can you see that shit? Where is it? Oh, there you go. Like got Alice Cooper in there, as you can see. And then on the back, you can open these fucking doors. I mean, if, if you're not a failure like me, you can open these doors. You can see all the inmates getting out of the 
And it's actually fun when, because a few weeks ago was the anniversary of this album, like the 39th anniversary, I think. And um, I posted that on my on my Instagram and Alice Cooper liked it and shared it on his story. So couldn't have a bigger flex than that. Like, you see that shit? That happened to me. And did it happen to you? No, it didn't. So that makes me a better human being than you. Of course it does. All right, so now that we're done flexing, we got raise your fist and yell. Which is just, <laughs> I love that cover art. That's amazing. Of course, also pretty cool, like this shit. It's like, I don't know what's going on there with Alice, but it looks cool. Um, and the inside sleeve, is, fuck, especially is amazing. Check that out. So badass. This is like one of my favorite albums, but I might be biased because um, it did play a big role in my uh, evolution to metal, basically. As well as this album, Trash. Like these two albums I listened to over and over again a few years ago when I really got into metal. So that's why these albums are kind of, you know, will always hold a soft spot in my heart. But they're just amazing albums. I love them. I, I re listened to them so many times. Hey, stupid. Also a very cool album. Alice Cooper looking <laughs> kind of kinky over there with that whip. I really like the ballad, Might As Well Be On Mars. That song is fucking amazing. But Hey Stupid Loves A Loaded Gun and Feed My Frankenstein, of course, are the classics from this album. This one, however, played the biggest part in my evolution to metal. Like when I listened to um, Raise Your Fist and Yell and Trash, I kind of listened to them on their own and didn't really... It didn't really evolve into anything, you know? I didn't start listening to heavier stuff. But then I started listening to more Alice Cooper albums, and we came to Brutal Planet, and that shit, especially at the time, is so heavy. It's a heavy album. Got Alice Cooper there. And this is like a limited pressing to 3,000 copies, and I have number 1,874. So, quite a few copies. <laughs> uh, inside Sleeve. Alice Cooper looking drunk as fuck. But yeah, fantastic album. Great opening track. Brutal Planet. And just very dark, like in terms of lyrics too. Just in terms of lyrics, and I mean, look at this cover. Just a very dark album. And then Dragon Town, which right off the bat isn't as dark as Brutal Planet, but definitely still as heavy. It's like a heavy album. We got Alice Cooper looking kind of samurai-ish. And this uh, final is actually pretty cool because it's a fiery orange. Very fiery orange, as you can see. And somehow this album is also like, if you want to listen to it, you got to listen to it on 45 RPM, which I don't think I have any other album that has a 45 RPM um, speed turning, whatever it's called. Like all of my other albums are just like 33 rpm uh, unless they're like maxi singles which are always 45 rpm next up dirty diamonds it's kind of going back to roots and cl more classic rock instead of industrial metal great album too i find myself re-listening to this one quite a bit as well title track of course is amazing however i'm not really a fan of like the the bonus track stand featuring Exhibit. I never really liked that one much. Here, some photos of Alice Cooper and very awesome looking final. I just love the red on this one. It's amazing, really. And then Alice Cooper's latest work, the Breadcrumbs EP, which uh, has like how many new songs? Like six new classic rock and rollish songs. As you can see, pretty damn cool art there, like that. And of course, this one will be followed up next year with um, Detroit Story. So I'm looking forward to that album. So that was all we had for the Alice Cooper albums. Here we have Exodus, Fabulous Disaster. Really great looking back cover. I love that. Like the shoes on fire. So yeah, if, if anyone is uh, interested in my interview with vocalist Steve Cedra Souza, who you can see right over there. Uh, I'll put a link. I'll put a link over there so you can check it out for yourself. It's a great interview. He was a great guy. Blast to talk to you. 
So I suggest you do check it out. Inside sleeves, lyrics on the back. So you have pretty damn cool album. Arguably the best work by Exodus. And over here, we have Ghost. This is, what's the title of this one? Like I keep forgetting the titles of this shit. It's, ah, oh man. I just know it's a great album. That's for sure. Like you got some badass photo there. Also worth pointing out is there's a booklet in this one over here. Very awesome. But it features like really detailed art for every single song on air. I guess basically what it what it meant and what the the musicians and the band visualized while um or well the artist, whoever made that art, whatever he visualized while well, listening to the song. So it's really damn cool that they have like a full booklet for every single song, like a different artwork. I just love that. Over here, another album by Ghost. This is, I forgot the title of this one too, and it's not on the cover. But yeah, their latest album, which is also very good. I just love Dance Macabre. Great song. This is probably the most gorgeous looking vinyl I have. Because check this shit out. Looks like the, the way it looks on screen definitely doesn't do it justice. And then over here we have Machine Head's much loved Catharsis. People absolutely love this album, like every single person ever. Then inside we have some more art. Also, of course, Phil Demo over there, whom I interviewed. So if you also want to check that one out, I'll put a link over there again. Some very cool inside artwork here. Over here we have the disc because it's a picture disc as you can see. And I got like a crazy good deal on this too. It was like 15 bucks. I was like, Jesus, that cheap? You sure? As well as this one, hardwired to self-destruct. Also like 15 bucks, which is just unbelievable to me. Very cool inside art, just gorgeous vinyl itself, as you can see. All right, and now we get to the Motorhead um, albums, which are quite a few. I almost own all of them. I think I own like 19 now. First up, Motorhead self-titled album, which I won't go too in-depth on these albums because I already ranked the entire studio album discography by Motorhead. And if you want to check that video out, which is really good and controversial with lots of unpopular opinions, click right over there. This one features some really cool inside artwork like it was just these awesome vintage photos of the band over here the classic overkill stay clean was my first motorhead song and my introduction to them then we have bomber also pretty good album here are everyone's favorite <laughs> motorhead album at least most people's favorites not mine that's for sure but yeah ace of spades of course great opening track yeah, it has, a, it has a pretty cool, you know, inner sleeve there with like the Ace of Spades. Iron Fist with, uh, for some reason, the band dressing up as knights, which was just kind of crazy. There's another fantastic album. This is Another Perfect Day, which might as well have been called Another Perfect Album because it is. Orgasmatron. which is the first album with Phil Campbell. Also, pretty damn cool inside sleeve there. Rock and Roll. Nothing too interesting about the sleeve, again. Quite honestly, this is my favorite vinyl that I own, not because I love the album so much, because it's honestly one of the weaker Motorhead albums. I still love it, <laughs> but it's just not as good as some of the others. But this is March or Die. I paid quite a bit of money for this, but um, then again, this is a dead rare vinyl. Not easy to come by. Some cool photos of the band. First album with Mickey D, but I believe on some tracks he doesn't play the drums. And this is a white vinyl, as you can see, released by Back on Black, which quite honestly should have been renamed to Back on White for this release. One of my all-time favorite Motorhead albums, Bastards. 
or Bastards, whatever you will. Very good album. Like, this is the first album where Mickey D just goes all out. Uh, I believe Lemmy's favorite album, Sacrifice, which is just amazing. I love it. Badass photo of the band with Wurzel still in there, which, uh, quite honestly, I, I, re I remember them saying Wurzel didn't really do much on that album. It was kind of a downfall for him in the band. My favorite Motorhead album ever, Overnight Sensation. This is my favorite Motorhead album. So just to me, it has the perfect balance of um, heaviness and also ballads and acoustic instruments. Uh, there's a harmonica in there. So really, it just has the perfect balance. Then we have Snake Bite Love. Quite an underrated album. Uh, I love this one. It's really good. We Are Motorhead, which is also a pretty damn heavy album, which I also really like. Inside Sleeve ain't that interesting either. Yeah, just great album. Features the cover, God Save the Queen. Hammered, another really underrated album in my opinion. I love the song Red Raw, photo of the band. Inferno, great album. Love this one, which um, also has some... Fuck. Some cool photos of the band and this one. Then we have Kiss of Death. Also a good album. I mean, <laughs> I feel like I've been saying good album like with every single Motorhead album. But that's why they're my favorite fucking band. Because none of the albums are bad. They're all amazing. The World is Yours. Love this album too. This one also is pressed on white vinyl. Next up, Aftershock. Which actually, if, if I ever do a re-ranking of the Motor albums, this one is going way higher now because now I actually really enjoy it. Um, nothing too interesting about the vinyl itself. However, over here you can see these, these little sketches. And these are made by Lemmy himself. Which I had no idea that he, he ever drew anything. Let alone some, like a little bit of art. In the inside sleeve. And actually, again, Aftershock. <laughs> I have it twice because I ordered it at another company. But then it never arrived, or so I thought. And then it arrived later. Um, I was like, oh, shit. So now I have it twice. South of Heaven. Also great album with the amazing opening track, South of Heaven. Which just fades into Silent Scream, which is also a great song. Very solid album. As well as Seasons in the Abyss. Also fantastic record. So I just love that. Like it's upside down. You can see the Slayer logo upside down. It's just awesome. All Hope is Gone. Also, I, I really find myself listening to this album quite a bit, honestly. And it is pressed on... Silver vinyl, so that looks really cool. Then we have the great chapter. Fuck me. A few of my records just fell over. That scared the fuck out of me. Let's do a replay. The great chapter. With this absolutely gross <laughs> back art. With like guts and shit over here. Inside, pretty cool too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'm good. Then we have All We Are Not Your Kind. Their latest album. Which is also just amazing. I love this album. Inside artwork. Very cool. Inside, you got some cool art of the band. As you can see. So yeah, cool stuff. Very solid album. I love it. Then we have Join the Army by Suicidal Tendencies. I love this album. I love... The first song, Suicidal Maniac, of course, Join the Army, War Inside My Head is like the banger of this album, truly. Um, but Possessed to Skate is also very cool. I love that song, too. And this one was gifted to me by a very special person in my life. It is System of a Down, the self-titled album, which I really like. It's arguably their heaviest, but I really like it. Inside Sleeves, you can see. Pretty damn interesting, or the other side is also pretty cool. But yeah, the song that I really like is, of course, uh, Sweet Pea, whatever, however you <laughs> would say that, pronounce that. Uh, but Sugar is also really good, and Suggestions I also really like. 
So yeah, some pretty damn good songs on this one. And then I only missed Steal this album, so I'll still need to pick a day when I'm going to be stealing that one from my local record store. But I do own Toxicity. You got him in the studio on the inside sleeve. Absolute classic. Like the song Chop Suey is also one song that just kind of got me into metal, really. And then we have Mesmerize. Cool inside art. This is probably my favorite System of a Down album. I'm not really sure. I kind of don't quote me on that, but it's probably my favorite System of a Down record. It's really good. And then finally Hypnotize. Also a very good album. So yeah, those are all the albums that I have. I hope you enjoyed watching and um, yeah, uh, make sure now you watch the videos that I've uh, mentioned in this video, which are still over there. So go check them all out. Uh, great videos, of course, I I'm, I'm make great videos. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say except Merry fucking Christmas and um, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. You have waited this long. Hell no longer awaits.